Hey guys, this is Cybernite8610, and I'm doing a video like this now. I'm trying out the new camera. I can actually uh, see myself as I'm recording using this camera, so hopefully the quality is very nice. And uh, hopefully there's not too many errors in this video, because it's the first time using the camera like this. And so yeah, hopefully it will improve as I use it. Anyway, we're going to do a review over the cards I got, the Hollows from uh, Order of Chaos. I mean, you guys saw that video, hopefully. If not, I will have this video response or something. You can kind of see them, try to make sure I get them in the camera. So yeah, I'm going to go over each one, we're going to read about its effect and stuff. I'm not going to go in too much detail over each one though, I mean, we're going to go over its effects and stuff, but I do plan to have separate videos over each of these, and going to have their own reviews, as well as some of the rares from the set, and uh, comments, and other things that should be, you know, talked about that I'm sure most of you guys are interested in, like the new ninja archetype, and uh, the insectors, you know, and all kinds of other stuff. I already talked about Curry Bolt, I might even talk about him again, I love that card for some weird reason. Anyway, though, ignore the piece of paper I have with me because I'm going to have to uh, read off the effects because I want to make sure I get it right. You know, I don't want to end up screwing it up and uh, telling you guys the wrong effect on a certain card. So yeah, anyway, uh, the first one, uh, it's the ultimate I've got, as you can see. Hopefully the camera will adjust. You should be able to see it pretty well. Anyway, uh, that one is Evazor Saldi, I believe is how it's pronounced. It's S-O-L-D-D-E, so that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Anyway, it's a Dragon XC effect monster, and it requires... Uh, two level six dinosaur type monsters to XC summon into it. Uh, its effect is, while this card has uh, XC materials, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects, and when your opponent special summons a monster, you can detach an XC material from this card and destroy that monster. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting card. I mean, it's kind of... I wish it was a uh, level four. It'd probably come in here a lot better for a lot of the different decks that are out there, you know, that are using the dinosaurs and stuff, like, I believe there's a rabbit a rescue rabbit deck that uses dinosaurs and stuff and trying to use the XCs that uh, the Ebosaurs have and all that, so yeah, that's it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't see this one being a really high dollar one, but yeah, it's pretty interesting though. I don't like the artwork as much as the other ones. I don't know, I mean, tell me what you guys think. Uh, the others look like they're really epic. The dinosaurs, you know, or I guess dragon, is like gonna destroy someone or something, you know, but this one just kind of looks a little cartoonish for me, but who knows? Some people might have a different opinion. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is number 96, uh, Black Mist. It's pretty cool. It's, I think, the highest number of monster. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to show it to you guys. Let's see. It should focus for me. And, yeah. I know you guys can't probably can't read Japanese. I don't know. There might be a few of you out there. I know I can't. Uh, so, yeah. This one's pretty neat. It's a Fiend XC monster. And it requires three level 2 monsters, of course. Uh, you could probably end up using this card with something that uses, like, Mistle... Yeah, mystical shine balls and all that. You'd have to use uh, uh, some kind of agent neck or something. I don't know. I know they use a, a few other uh, XC monsters that are rank two and stuff like that. So it might be possible through that deck. But anyway, we'll we'll talk more about him in the future. Like I said, uh, his effect is during uh, the attack declaration when this card battles an opponent's monster, you can detach one XC material monster from this card, half that monster's attack, and this card gains attack equal to that monster same amount. So yeah, it's pretty interesting, you're kind of taking away your opponent's attack, which is good because this guy only has uh, 100 attack and uh, 1,000 defense, so yeah. Uh, it's a pretty interesting card, I don't know, I don't see it being used too often, like I said, it kind of is one of those cards where, uh, like, Illuminate in some ways, you know, they have, they're pretty interesting, but uh, not every deck's going to be able to run it, but it doesn't mean they're garbage either. So yeah, it's pretty cool, I really like the artwork for some reason, I mean, the artwork, I really think they did really well with this one. And, uh, like I said, we'll have another video on it in the future if you guys want to. You know, just tell me what cards you want to hear about from Order of Chaos, and of course I'll make a video about them. Especially if I got the card from the box. I mean, you guys, hopefully, like I said, saw the box opening, and then I can show you guys the card as well. Uh, the main card, I did happen to get it. Uh, number uh, 39 Chaos Utopia Ray, or sometimes it's like C39, uh, I've seen it as well. I mean, I think it's supposed to be Chaos, though. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. The artwork has a lot going on, it seems like. Uh, it's a pretty cool card. There's been a lot of different uh, talk on this card. Uh, they finally said the correct effect, it seems like. There for a while before uh, we knew its exact effect, there was all kinds of different things going around, like you had to have so many life points and have Utopia on your side field, and all kinds of stuff. But uh, this one is a little bit easier to summon. It requires three level four light monsters. So yeah, that's not going to be too easy, but it was a lot easier than I remember the first effect that we heard. And also, uh, his effect is that you can also, uh, you can also exceed summon this card by by using one number 39 Utopia you control as the XC material. XC materials attached to that monster also become XC materials of this card. Uh, you can detach one XC material from this card, it gains 500 attack 
and one monster your opponent controls loses 1,000 attack until the end phase. You must have 1,000 life points or less to activate this effect and resolve this effect. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. It seems like a pretty long effect, actually. As you can tell, even in, on the card, you know, they printed a lot on that, it seems like. See, kind of focus, camera, there we go. So yeah, uh, kind of reversed, I know, for you guys. But yeah, anyway, uh, it's really interesting. And uh, I, I think we might see it being used a little bit. Who knows? We'll just have to see and uh, what it does to TCG. I'm not, I don't think it's going to do a whole lot, but we'll just have to see, of course. Uh, the next one, I got an Insector, Insector uh, Gigamantis. Um, this is a pretty interesting one. Of course, the Insectors, you haven't heard of them, they're a bunch of insects. They, like, equip to each other. It kind of reminds me of Dragoonides. Like I said, I know this is kind of reversed for you guys. I actually just noticed that. Uh, oh, well, though, we'll have to figure out different stuff. Uh, anyway, let's see. His effect, of course, is that uh, you can equip this card uh, from your hand to one face-up Insector monster you control while this card is equipped to a monster, the equipped monster's original attack becomes 2,400. If this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you can special summon one Insector monster from your graveyard, except Insector Gigamantis. The effect of Insector Gigamantis can only be activated once per turn. See, it's pretty interesting. I mean, the whole Insector archetype seems really interesting as well. I mean, actually, bug types being usable, that sounds pretty nice. I mean, we really hadn't had a usable archetype that are bugs. I mean, you know, so it's pretty cool, I think. You know, this card might actually come in handy, I'm not too sure. I, I don't even think it's on eBay. I think I looked before this, and I, think, I couldn't even find it on eBay. So, uh, I don't know if this is actually pretty hard to find, or what. I don't know what it would do to to uh, the TCG as well. I'm, I don't see the Insectors, you know, making a big fuss, but who knows. They might end up being one of the big-time archetypes. I see the Ninjas actually doing better out of this set. But yeah, though, it's a pretty cool card, as you can see. Alright, we got two more cards that I got that were hollow. Uh, one was a spell card, we'll go ahead to that, and it's Creeping Darkness. I actually messed up in the box opening, and I thought it was for the Insectors, because to me it kind of looked like some kind of insect thing, you know, from the artwork. Anyway, though, its effect is you banish two dark monsters in your graveyard, add one level four uh, dark monster from your deck to your hands. See, I got confused for a sec for some reason. Anyway, it's pretty interesting. I've seen... You know, a lot of people are actually wanting those cards, so maybe it will make an impact on the TCG. It all really matters, it seems like, too, on uh, what the rarities are going to be for us in the U.S. I, I'd imagine they'd be pretty close to what Japan has on these cards that I'm talking about so far. I mean, I could see them being the same rarity. You know, who knows, though? I mean, you know, they had Rescue Rabbit as a rare, we get it as a secret rare. You never know with uh, Konami on how they change stuff. I almost want to do a rant on that, so tell me if you want to hear a rant on that. Uh, anyway, though... Um, Let's talk about our last card, probably the one that most people were interested in, probably from the box. It's a pretty cool card. It's like the new Dark Magician Girl, I guess. Can you really play Dark Magician Girl, though? No. Gaga <laughs> Gaga ga, ga, Girl. That's hard to say. Uh, I wish they had a better name, too. Pretty interesting card. It's probably the highest dollar card I got from the box as well. Uh, I really like its effect. I'm hoping it's going to be a rare in uh, the TCG version, which is English. But, uh, who knows? I, it looked like a rare in the picture to me in the English picture, but we'll just have to see, of course. I kind of doubt it will be for some reason. I think it's going to end up being a high dollar card, so, you know, so it'll be pretty hard to get. Anyway, though, its effect is you can target one face-up Gagaga -ga -ga Magician you control. This card's level becomes equal to the level of the target. If you exceed summon an Exceed monster using only this card and Gagaga -ga -ga monsters, the Exceed monster gains this effect. When this card is Exceed Summon, target one face up special summon monster your opponent controls, the target's attack becomes zero. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. I mean, it actually, in some ways, makes it where Gaga Magician is worth using more, because, I mean, right now, Gaga Magician is probably a $4 card or something. You know, it's not really a high dollar one. This could end up boosting its price. It's a pretty interesting card. I mean, I know a lot of people are going to be after it because of the artwork and, you know, that it, for what it is, because it is kind of like a new Dark Magician girl. But yeah, though, it's not that bad. I kind of like its effect. It actually makes me want to somehow use this card. You know, I don't know in what deck I would use it in, but for some reason I kind of want to use it. So yeah, uh, it's pretty interesting. So yeah, those were the holo cards I'm going to talk about. Uh, if there were any rare cards I got from the box, commons, and I'll probably make separate videos on each of these cards as well, uh, please tell me in the comments if there are certain cards you want me to talk about, even if I didn't get them from the box. Please tell me. Uh, I want to do more of this blog style, and please... Tell me if you enjoyed more of this blog style as well. Hopefully the quality is pretty good. I know it's kind of mirrored. I'm going to see if I can fix that in some way. And, uh, yeah, maybe in the editing I can fix that, hopefully. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Please tell me if you enjoy the new quality and the new camera. And uh, please tell me if, if you 
are planning to get any of these cards. Like I got, you know, of course in the TCG version, are you looking for any of these and are you really excited about any of the cards coming out? So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and please like this video if you enjoyed it. All right, thank you. Bye guys. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed my latest video. For more great videos over Yu-Gi-Oh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to check out the description to see my Facebook account and also see my website, cyrus.com, for the latest Yu-Gi-Oh news. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.